The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 verses 14, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Angels are ministering spirits. They are spiritual beings created by God to serve Him and minister to man. Angels are not God, so they are not to be worshipped. John, when he received the revelations of heaven, encountered an angel, and as he was about to bow and worship, he was cautioned. Yes, he was cautioned by the angel not to do that. He wasn't to be worshipped. Only God is to be worshipped. See Revelations chapter 19 verses 10 and Revelations 22 verses 9. When God created angels, they were all holy and without sin. Yet, when Satan rebelled, he drew one-third of the angels to his side. So now, these angels are considered bad angels. So now we have two categories of angels, the good angels and the bad angels. The good and the loyal angels are the mighty servants of God who constantly serve him. They're always doing his will. Angels are spirits that God created and they protect man here on earth. God will not personally come down to earth to do anything for us. He already did all that he needed to do. Instead, he sends his angels and whenever children of God are in some sort of trouble, angels will always intervene at their call and at the instructions of God. Angels protect man from physical harm and they give him strength to overcome difficult situations in their lives. Psalms 91 verses 11 to 12, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Angels act at the word of God. They act at the word of God, either directly gotten from God or proclaimed in faith by the believer. Whenever you find yourself in some sort of difficult situation, speak the word of God concerning that situation and the angels will act accordingly. Are you facing a health challenge? Have robbers broken into your home? Have you met with an accident? What is that trouble you're facing today? Angels are there to help get you out of that situation. You, my dear friend, are never alone. You may be going through a situation and you get gripped with fear, thinking that you're all alone. Maybe you find yourself in a really scary spot or a situation. Maybe you've been attacked or you've been sent a death threat. Maybe someone is actually after your life. Whenever you find yourself in such situation that you don't seem to see a way of escape, remember the story of Elisha and his servant in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 15. Remember when they were surrounded by an army with horses and chariots that were willing to capture them. The servant was so scared, he panicked and the man of God said to him, Do not be afraid, for them who are with us are more than those who are with them. Elisha was conscious with the innumerable company of angels. In fact, Elisha was so confident because he knew what he saw. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that God will open your eyes, that you will see as God sees. Look, I want you to understand that you are never alone. You, my dear friend, are never alone. You are never alone in any way, form or manner. Now, the fact that you aren't conscious of their presence and activities in your life doesn't mean that they aren't there or they aren't working. Now, just like the man of God prayed for his servant in verse 17, he prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes so that he may see. Same do I pray for everyone that is listening to this right now again. Everyone that is going through a tough time, let your eyes be open to see that you are not alone, that you are heavenly guarded and surrounded, that you are heavily protected. When the servant's eyes were opened and he saw the army that was for them, he received boldness. Yes, he received the boldness, the courage and the strength, and the fear left him. Angels provide for God's children. Throughout scriptures, we find records of angels ministering food and water to the servants of God. Then he, Elijah, lay down under the broom tree, and he fell asleep. And suddenly, an angel touched him and said to him, Get up and eat. He looked, and there at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank, and he lay down again. Now the angel of the Lord came a second time, and it touched him, and he said, Get up and eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. We also see what happened in the wilderness with Jesus after his 40 days. Now, remember that Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Remember that Jesus was fasting, and after his 40 days of fasting and prayers, 
angels were sent by God to minister to him. So what is that thing that you're in need of? Do you need health, money, or even anything else? God will send his angels to provide them for you. The answer to your prayers have been sent through an angel to you. Angels are messengers from God. They will always bring you good news from God. They were and are still used today to proclaim God's truth. Angels are not limited by natural laws. Angels as spirit creatures are not limited to physical or natural conditions. They're not subject to the laws of nature. Angels can pass back and forth from the spiritual realm to the natural realm. So in areas where you feel intimidated in the laws of nature, call on angels and they will assist you. Since they're not limited by space, gravity or any physical law, angels are personal beings. And guess what? They can be interacted with. They have every feature or personality such as intelligence, thought, and choice. Mm -hmm. And we know that at least two of the angels, Michael and Gabriel, have personal names. In fact, there are so many more angels, but there are so many more that we don't even know their names. So each time you call out God's name in times of danger, you have committed the entire host of heaven to work for your defense. Not everyone you see in this world is human. Some angels are with us here on earth. They sometimes come in form of man. They come to comfort and help people. This reminds me of Abraham. Could you remember that hot afternoon that Abraham was seated under a tree and he saw three men? Can I tell you, those men were heading to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, but he saw those men and at that point in time, those same men, they were representatives of God. They were not actually heading to Abraham's place. But guess what? Abraham saw them, he entertained them, and he received his blessing. The Bible says that some men, not knowing, they have entertained angels. Oh, the Bible encourages us that we should be good to people because some men in doing so have entertained angels. Abraham is a living testimony of this. Could you imagine what would have happened if Abraham was nasty and rude to these people? Probably, Isaac would have never been given to Abraham. They come to give comfort and help people. Some people are troubled and lonely. So make friends with angels and they will make you less bored. Be kind to everyone that you see on earth because you would never know who you're talking to or even helping out. Remember what happened with Abraham when God sent his angels to bring him messages of his son that would be born to him by Sarah, his wife. They passed as though they weren't coming to him. Well, fortunately, Abraham was sensitive enough to know that they were messengers from the Lord. He received them and he fed them. And what did they do in return? Remember, they gave him the message from the Lord. You know, I'm just asking this question again so that everyone can imagine. Could you imagine for one second what would have happened if Abraham had not received them? Oh, we're pretty sure he might have missed out on the blessing that God had for him. Because this was something that he had prayed for. This is something he had asked for for a long time. Look, angels give us direction. The Bible says that Philip was directed by the Ethiopian eunuch by an angel. So be attentive to the leading and the directives of the angel of the Lord. Angels are ministering spirits sent by God to minister to the saints. So make use of what God has made available for you. Angels will make your life much easier. Angels are not wicked spirits, so they will never come to harm us. They come to encourage us in times of distress, and they will always show up in times of need. So do not ignore them. Be open to the ministry of angels in your life. Thank you for listening and God bless you.